in this video we're going to illustrate how to perform the VLOOKUP function in Google Sheets when you want to perform a search from right to left. Now the standard VLOOKUP function is set up by default to only perform a search from left to right but there is a way around that and before I jump into this what I want to show you is how you can reorder your columns dynamically without having to alter your original data set so you can see here I have a data set of employee information and the last column here we have employee ID number and this is our search column but it's also our last column so how can we rearrange the columns without physically altering our original data? Before we do our VLOOKUP, I'm going to say equals opening parentheses and then opening curly bracket because we're dealing with columns of data here. We have arrays, so we need something that can handle arrays. Curly brackets can do that in Google Sheets. It outputs arrays. So. I want to reorder my columns. I want column D to be column one. So I'm going to select that first and then separate it with a comma and then columns A through C will follow that. And you can see the output here is now column D is now our first column and A through C follow column D. So we want to do this again but nest it within our VLOOKUP function. And before I do that, what I will also want to do is copy the headers here because we will use these headers as part of our column reference in our VLOOKUP function. I'll explain how that works when we get to it, so just bear with me. I'm going to begin with the VLOOKUP. Our search key is this employee ID number here, so I'm going to hit F4 to lock that down. Our range that we want to search on is going to be what we did just a moment ago. We dynamically reordered our columns. So I have column D first, I'm going to hit F4 to lock that down, and then columns A through C to follow that. Hit F4 again and close that out with a curly bracket. Do not forget the curly brackets. So now we have our third argument of the VLOOKUP, which is our column index the column number we want to pull back but you've got to keep in mind we reordered our columns they are not in the same order now that they are over here so we need to perform a match based on the way these columns are ordered here in our second argument and we want to use the match function based on these headers here because what the match function does is it produces a numerical number of the position of where a search value is found within a list of data. So we want to use match and the first argument is our search key which is going to be this header here. Now the next argument is our search range but keep in mind we want to look at this first row but we need to reorder it exactly in the same way it was ordered in the second argument here so again we need curly brackets and I'm gonna first select cell D1 hit F4 to lock that down and then comma and then A1 through C1 and F4 to lock that down again enter our closing curly bracket and then the final input of our match function is the search type which we want an exact match so that's going to be a value of zero so now we have a closing parentheses to end our match and we are back into the final argument of our vlookup function which is the match type again we want an exact match so that's going to be a value of zero so you can see based on this employee id number it produces brent arnold and if i look here you can see this is Brent Arnold's ID number. Now when I drag this across, our match function should pick up these headers here and then pull in the appropriate columns. And it does. He works in the IT North Branch location. So if I change our value here up top, maybe 5204, you can see this produces Rebecca Johnson 
who's also in IT, but at the main office. So that is how you can perform a VLOOKUP in Google Sheets when you want to search from right to left without altering your original data set. Hey, if you like what you saw today, please hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching.